everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I took an IKEA mirror and transformed it into this West Elm industrial style mirror. So first thing first, bring the mirror outside so you can get it ready for spray painting. And of course have the partner bring it out for you because why not? First thing I did to prep for spray paint was to take blue painter's tape and the packaging from the mirror itself and tape off the mirror, um, making sure it is fully covered to ensure that no spray paint gets on the mirror itself. Uh, you want to make sure you've got the tape as close as possible to the frame so that you have a nice clean edge when you pull off the tape after spray paint. If you do get any spray paint on the mirror, just use some acetone or mineral spirits to take it off. I picked up this Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer in one spray paint from my local hardware store. When you're painting metal, you want to make sure you have a primer to ensure that the spray paint sticks properly. And just go over each section in light, even coats, and this will ensure you don't have any dripping and an even finish. I really probably should have put some weights on the paper to prevent the paper from flying into my mirror, but I forgot, so... After letting the spray paint dry for a couple hours, I went over with this crystal clear enamel just for some extra durability. For the two wood panels in the mirror, I picked up these 3 8 inch boards that are 6 inches wide and 3 feet long. You can probably get these cut down to the right length at your local home improvement store, but I do actually have the tools at home. So here I'm just measuring out the length that I want them to be, marking them on the wood itself, and then taking them to the miter saw here, and then just cutting them down to length. This next part is optional, but I wanted to create a rabbit along the length of each of the boards to accommodate for the small lip that the frame has compared to the mirror. Um, and cutting this rabbit just allows the board to sit nicely uh, against the mirror once it's glued on. Onto sanding, I took some 220 grit sandpaper and my orbital sander and just sanded all the faces. I noticed a couple of dents in the board, so I used this trick I learned, which is to take a damp paper towel and an iron, and you literally just iron out the dents. Again, this next step is completely optional, but I wanted to pre-stain my boards just to avoid any blotchiness when I get to the staining portion. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just take the pre-stain, wipe it on with a rag, and after about 20 or so minutes, you uh, take a 220 grit sandpaper and just lightly sand the board. I promise we're almost done after this. Uh, after the pre-stain, I finally got around to putting on the stain. Uh, here we use the dark walnut finish, which matches the bed frame we made. And you just take a rag and wipe this on with the grain. I covered all of the sides except for the back because that won't be seen as it will be glued to the mirror. I didn't show it here, but we also applied two coats of polyurethane just for extra durability on the boards. We're finally at the last step. So taking my hot glue gun, um, you can of course use epoxy or E6000, whatever your favorite craft glue is. Uh, just apply this to the length of the board just to make sure there is good even contact. And once you're ready, you can align it to the mirror and glue it on. And in case you're wondering, the rabbit I cut on the back of this just allowed me to fit the board very nicely into the frame um, so that it doesn't push the board out and is nice and flat. And now for the final reveal. absolutely love how this IKEA hack turned out. Uh, now I just need to get the rest of my bedroom decorated and ready to go. See ya!